this video I'm going to show you how to install and use a Windows SCP and OpenSSH before you, but before you do anything you want to click install and go to install and go to all packages and go all the way down to the O's and install OpenSSH and I just did that before I made this video and then after that you want to go down to the S's and install services and I just got done doing that and after that just exit out and it's going to refresh but you're not going to see OpenSSH because it's an invisible app and then go into services and make sure the bottom two are on and the bottom, I mean top two are off unless you have an iPhone you want them all on and then while that's doing that you're going to want to install this link I'm about to give you and then after you're done installing it's going to look something like that it should be a little a com red computer and a blue computer and a little lock and now you're going to go to settings on your iPod and go to Wi-Fi uh, your Wi-Fi right there and click the little blue arrow on the way right you're going to see something that says IP address and you're going to want to copy that exactly down and Windows SCP and that's going to be your host name and then you just put that down and make sure your port number is on 22 and your username is going to be root and your password is going to be alpine A -L -P -I -N -E. And make sure your protocol is on SFTP and make sure it says allow SCP feedback. And after you do that, click save and OK. And then after that, you're just going to click yes on the pop-up. And basically your whole iPod is those three files right there. If you want to get more into like the detailed files, you want to go right there and it says a root dictionary and click that. That's where you can change the icons of all your uh, applications. The back button's right there. Uh, that's basically about it. Um, library, then there's more. You can go to summer board, themes. You can add themes right there. It's really, really easy to use. If you don't know how to use it, you can just go on to iPodTouchFans.com, and I'm sure like, anybody there will help you. And when you're always running this, make sure you have OpenSSH on. And I like to have my dot connector connected because that way I'm not wasting any battery and nothing's draining or anything. And after you're done using this or whatever you want to do, just click X and it says, do you want to terminate that? Just click OK. And now go back to your iPod, go to Services. And OpenSSH is the very bottom one. Turn that off. Make sure all of them are off besides Wi-Fi. Unless you don't want Wi-Fi, and turn that off. And then, that's basically how you use uh, Windows SCP and OpenSSH on your iPod. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.